this week's theme is all about thinking about interconnectedness and our relationship. So we want you to think about that as we move through this week's session. We'll talk a little bit later about the activity for this week, which will help you to think through that for yourself. Which concept me gives it? Me me going to see something in that so can I? Ne ashig ni kaming ni don jiba. My uh, again, my name, the creation is which uh, concept me gives it. I um, with the little people clan. And the little ones are my ancestors, as well as I'm from the uh, the beautiful place or that uh, point of land surrounded by water on three sides, um, known as Nea Shigniping. And um, tobacco has been passed in a, in a good way to uh, to share, I guess, a story that I've been learning my entire life and hearing my entire life. Uh, I have to acknowledge where I heard this uh, story from. That would be my great grandmother, uh, Verna Najwan, Verna Johnston, as well as uh, Basil Johnston, as well. The way I always start my stories is a um, long time ago, a long, long, long time ago. There was a there was a community, and in this community, there was a, a wigwam, or a lodge, or a home. And in this wigwam, there was a family. And in this family, there was a a nokemis. Grandmother, Nokomis. Nokomis had a had a grandson. Nokomis' grandson was named Southwind. And Southwind was was very young at this time. Every night they would go just outside of their community, Nokomis and Southwind, as the sun was setting, and they would climb to the top of this big hill, and they would sit there and wait for the stars to come out. And they would just look up. And Southwind, very young, had a lot of questions going on in his mind. And that's good. That's exactly at that age what we're supposed to do. Wonder about our environment and things that are going on around us. Southwind was looking up. And he's like, no comments, grandma. What are those shiny things? No commits. He smiles. He says, my boy, those, those are stars. No commits. What are stars? Open the smiles. My boy, each one of those stars are one of those blinking lights. Each one of those are a baby. So it's when thinks, baby, star, no comments. I don't understand. No comments, just smiles. It's okay. It's okay, my boy. You see, each one of those babies, each one of them, are looking, looking down on Earth. And you know what they're looking for? They're looking for their parents. They're looking for their mommy and they're looking for their daddy. And when they find them, guess what? They're gonna come down as a shooting star. Come down into that, into that mother's belly. And that beautiful gift that star, that child, will bring love and joy, not only to the family, but also to the community and to creation. No commands. I don't, I don't quite understand. No commands, just looks. It's okay, my boy. It's good. The night turned to day. The seasons changed. Winter came in. Southwind and Nokomis could no longer walk to the top of that hill to look at the stars. It was, it was a really harsh winter. It was too cold. The winter was so harsh that Nokomis, Grandma, Grandma got sick. Grandma, couldn't even get out of her out of her bedding. She 
couldn't leave, leave her wigwam. She was pretty sick. Southwind would go by himself, kind of look up at the stars by himself. Seasons change. Winter let up. It was one of those spring nights that Southwind, by himself, walked to the top of that hill where he and Nokomis would go. And he looked up at the stars. He saw something that night. He saw a shooting star land just at the bottom of that hill. And his heart started pounding. He went running down. He's looking. He's looking. He's looking. It's dark. He doesn't see anything. He keeps looking. All of a sudden, he hears this little voice calling to him. Take me. It's me. I'm your gift. I'm your, I'm your medicine. Southwind is kind of nervous and kind of scared. He hesitates and he looks. There's all these beautiful little white flowers bobbing on the surface of this pond. Southwind notices that in the center of this pond, one of those, a gundamo, one of those flowers is calling to him. Take me. I'm your gift. I'm your medicine. The south wind goes into that water. He's scared. And he walks to the center of that pond and he's looking at that flower right in the eye. And he goes to pluck that flower. And as soon as he is about to touch it, it screams. Yo! Kawin! No! No, you take all of me. All of me. And he has to dig out from the bottom of that pond in that mud. He has to dig out that root. And he comes out of that pond. And he's holding this flower, this leaf, this stalk, and this root. And he's confused. So he takes that, that flower. And he's questioning, this is my gift? This is my medicine? And he goes into the wigwam and he's like, Dad, I don't know what this is. And Nos, his dad, takes it and he chops it up and he adds that water and he adds that heat and he makes a tea. And he starts giving that tea to Nokomis. And for four days and four nights, Nokomis is drinking that wonderful tea. And on that fifth night, Nokomis and Southwind were walking to the top of that hill to look up at the stars. They're looking. Nokomis? Yes, my boy. You know, when you were sick, I was still coming out to look at the stars. Grandma, no commiss. She smiles. It's good, my boy. No commiss. One of those nights, I got my gift. No commiss. Smiles. It's good, my boy. No commiss. I don't think that gift was for me. I think that gift was for you. And Grandma, no commiss. Just smile. As it was told to me, as it was told to them. And Basil would always tell me that everybody is born with a very special gift and that you and that you grab it and, it and you use it but you have to share it not only with your 
with yourself and with your family, but also with your community and all of creation. Uh, miigwech, miigwech for sharing that story. I think it's really important for us to start remembering how traditionally we used to think of ourselves as being really sacred individuals and beings that have come to this place and time. Um, it's a really special gift to be given that life. And you know, thinking about the stars really helps us to think about our perspective. It helps us to think about the past, the present, and the future. It can help us think about our relationships that we have with our family, our ancestry, our community, and, and to land into all of creation. So this week we really wanted to help guide you through thinking about, you know, yourself as a star being, as someone who's come from the stars. You know, we're all sacred, we're all made of the same material, and you know, we all have our own types of connections to land, to ancestry, and to the cosmos.